Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Ooh, Cut! <laughs> no! Despite getting Eve and despite getting a, uh, a Cellar XL, I suppose, uh, and despite the fact that this bomb cannot possibly give us a secret room, even though I looked around for a second to make sure that was indeed the case, uh, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this run, you know. Y you have to play the cards you dealt. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, no walk away, know when to run. You never roll your item when it's sitting on the pedestal. There'll be time enough for rolling when the floor is done. In any case, that's a terrible advice. You should seriously. Um, Reroll the item as soon as you have it if you don't want it and you know that it's the highest price. There's some factors that go into it, admittedly. I'm not stoked about having an Eve run. That should be pretty much obvious. Ooh, be, uh, be afraid, be very afraid. Um, our last Eve run was pretty momentous for us. It was the run that ended uh, the streak part two. It was also some of the best play I think I've ever had in my Isaac career, whatever you want to call it, is that I do when I do the things that I do. Um, but it, uh, it ended up being. You know, a problematic run. We lost. Brimstone didn't even stretch the entirety of the screen, which was super weird after we got it. Hopefully we have a chance to redeem ourselves for that weird... It wasn't a glitch, apparently just Mini Mush mess messes the textures up. And apparently, you know, if you were curious about why... Hmm, that happened the way it did. Uh, apparently, if uh, you go back and look, it appears that Brimstone actually did damage enemies that were out of its perceived range. It's just that the textures were messed up as a result of Mini Mush. That's what I saw from uh, a Reddit comment about the run, so um, that is what I'm going to assume is the case. But in any case, let's move on here. Um, pretty stoked that we've gotten four cents, four bombs, yet still have zero keys on a floor where really the most important consumable, consumable by like several orders of magnitude is, uh, you know, the things that open doors. Please? Nope, okay. We're probably coming pretty close to the end of it, which is scaring the fuck out of me. How do we want to handle this one? I would love to kill them in such a vicinity that they'd have a chance to find the secret room over here. Oh my god, I bunged that up. They, the, the secret room might not be over here in the first place. But if it, uh, whatever. If it is, I'd like to handle it. So I want to keep them low, then we'll take them up. Whatever. Just end this bullshit charade. The secret room's probably not there to begin with. And this is a comically bad first floor. Eve, the harder iteration of the floor. No keys. It's an XL floor. No keys. Um, which already, like, limits the number of, uh, like, guaranteed good shops we're gonna have. But then also, we can't access any of the fucking rooms to begin with. Uh, and then we fight Eve as well. Or sorry, we fight Envy. We are Eve, but we're fighting Envy. Which always takes goddamn forever. So I could use some special, you know, bomb ability here, but I'm not going to. Instead, we're just going to take them out, and it's going to be low and slow, but that's okay. You know, it's like we're trying to get a ground out in MLB 14 the show or something like that. All future metaphors are required by SCEA law to be MLB 14 the show metaphors. So, for example, I want to make sure I don't fuck this up, like, grounding out into a double play in a, you know, 3-2 bases loaded, one out situation with the Super Bowl on the line. Ah, god damn it! World Series on the Well, maybe the Super Bowl could be on the line, I don't know. Maybe I get seriously crazy with my gambles here. It's always a good sign when, um, boy, we're like four and a half minutes into an Isaac run and I've already kind of completely uh, given myself up to the altar of absurdity. Thank god we got one bomb out of that, too. That was well worth the time investment. Well, I think we look for the secret room by putting a bomb here. There's no seams yet. Why, why would I try that? Because I wa desperately wanted to see if maybe the, um, maybe the second secret, or sorry, maybe the secret room would be there, and then I could gain access to the uh, item room that way. Okay, so we're gonna take another loop. And we're doing this because I think the secret room might be directly below us. So I botched this up quite miserably. Ah, come around this way now. Nope. I need you to reverse your polarity, please. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. And then you're going to come down, and I'm going to try to explode you right around the center. There's our secret room. So that was well worth it, I guess. But unfortunately, the bad news here is there's no item room adjacent to it. Unless there... Ooh. Unless there is... And this could be an item room, or it could be a shop. Or it could be just an empty room. Or a room without any uh, special characteristics. Which it is. God damn it. Well, 
At least we got a ton of money. If we get keys, we may want to go to a shop as opposed to going to uh, the item room. We got something like 18 cents in there? That's kind of ridiculous. Of course, you know, being unable to spend it is not making me feel so good about things. I took damage against that fly, so I figured, you know, why not just finish the job on that guy before I would lose a fuck ton of health to make it happen. There's our other um, item room here. We haven't been able to access any item rooms, but that's the other one, because it's the second one we've come across. Very difficult run so far. In terms of the consumables, at least. In terms of enemies, it's been fairly normal, I suppose. I don't know why, but I can't get it out of my head that, um, that that's the best Kylie Minogue song. But no, I can't get it out of my head, thank God for that key, that um, this might be access to the second secret room. I am... I am an idiot. I am a dumb idiot. We'll use another bomb here, because I'm a dumb idiot. And we got a bomb back for it, so let's just pretend we spent one bomb on nothing. Now, I'm very worried that this guy's going to break through the, the rocks here. Oftentimes, just a little bit of elbow grease is all it takes, unfortunately. And you should be dead. Could go fight the bosses, but let's be honest. I've already taken red heart damage. We might as well just kind of keep this train rolling. And I am hoping to get to the shop. The shop's got to be probably one room away from us right now, up at the top there. And um, if we manage to find that, what's the ideal payout for us? Well, any shop item that is good, I'll buy. Ideally, I'll be able to buy a key as well. But uh, if I have to choose one item, it's Blue Candle, because we need that killing power as soon as possible. Uh, just one more consumable key would be so... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got Notched Axe. We went to the shop, 25 cents on the first floor. Ah, notched axe, no big deal. Um, no other keys to access other rooms. It's all is not lost. We could get some keys here. It's unlikely. Could happen, though. We got Pin. I am going to fight Pin uh, ye old fashioned way. Because I'm pretty sure that Pin will cheese itself to death. If I just stand relatively close to it when it pops up its head. Uh, that was obviously a piss poor job. Uh, if I stand relatively close to it when it pops up its head, it'll do the whole um, I'm gonna kill myself with the bomb thing, and that'll make life easy. We need everything. So do not give me a shot speed, a range, or a, a speed upgrade. Everything else, I have no fucking choice in the matter, but everything else would be wonderful. Just please work with me here, game. I'm trying to work with you. Make me look good, I'll make you look good. And... We got an HP upgrade. That's fine. I almost hope that we get the um, the cardboard box in our next one, though. All right. So the Widow, not so bad. Kind of a tedious fight without any, uh, you know, super high damage or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to get the Widow to get baited and have it jump over here. Because if it does that, um, it, it could have crushed those, uh, those white nubs. We could always use some bombs here. I would rather avoid doing that because we might need them on the next floor to actually gain access to some special rooms. You know, open a tinted rock, get a get a key out of a chest or something like that. There's, you know, many possible options. It's a tricky and uh, surprisingly tactical fight happening here. The more damage we can do to the widow in the meantime, though, the better our lives are. Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay, good, good, good. Just keep spawning that creep right there. That was real close. And there's more jumping. The spiders are the real problem here. If you take the spiders out of this fight, it's an easy one. Uh, it's already not difficult, but it's a much easier fight once the spiders are a non-issue. That was maybe one of the best Widow fights I've ever had in my entire life. Now, deal with the devil. We did? Oh, please God, let me trade for anything good. Sure, okay. This is... Fuck you if you think that this is me cheesing the game. This floor has given me no indication that this run is going to provide me with anything useful at all. So we go with Brimstone. And what are we now? We're Eve with Brimstone. That's it. We have Eve's... Everything else is just Eve's base attributes. Um, so it's not like we're, we're tearing the place up with respect to damage or anything like that. I mean, that should be relatively obvious based on the fact that we have to three-shot these enemies. Maybe four-shot, actually. Shoot, please. No? Nope. Okay. We can always use this bomb ourselves to make this happen. Um... We need keys. We're on another XL floor. This is not even close to a one run. One key helps out a lot. We can't even one shot spiders at this point. So, I mean, part of that is just because I'm shooting super badly. Uh, did you see me almost die there? That was partly my own fault, admittedly, but still, good lord. You know what? Fuck the bomb glitch for now. We just need whatever's in this. Thank god for that half heart and more keys. Okay. 
I'm starting to feel a little bit better about things. Very, very slightly better about things. Now, we need damage upgrades. We need damage. We need HP. We need the shop items. We need the ability to fly. I, I, I realize I sound like, like a petulant Veruca Salt trying to make myself a Christmas list of anything that could possibly be perceived as good. But please recognize that despite the fact that we have Brimstone, we're still in a, a very tricky, tricky spot here. Double XL difficult floors is just nuts too, especially considering we got no other items on the last floor. Alright, we open one item room. It's Brother Bobby. Brother Bobby is a special item, so normally I might be... So I will really normally I would say, oh, Brother Bobby, really nice to have. Good familiar, help shoot down flies when I'm charging up brimstone. Good old fashioned Canadian pickup there. No. Um, recently, I would think it's a special item, so don't pick it up because it's going to make uh, less likely to find other special items in the future. But um, basically, we have to take what we can get. No greed. It's the ladder, huh? I cannot justify taking the ladder at all. What I can justify doing is playing this guy twice. Pays out with a pill, huh? That's interesting. Then we take this red heart. The worst shop item so far. What do we do about that pill? Fuck if I know for now. Um, we will get it, but for now, we're just gonna be cool about it. Brother Bobby, surprisingly on par with me in terms of damage. Doesn't that scare the shit out of you? It scares the shit out of me. Brother Bobby should not be considered a major source of damage uh, on your run if you want to have a good chance of success. Another key is very good. We will use that to open up uh, open up this item room down here. You know what? Maybe we'll take the pill first. Because what if its bombs are key? I was actually just about to say, well, what if it's bad trip? And then, um, you know, sometimes life imitates art, I guess. There's Harlequin Baby. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, also fairly useless. Hoo, 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 hoo. Um, could have found the second secret room there potentially, but I'm done fucking around with this bomb glitch. Do you fight the boss in this situation? Do we fight one boss? I don't know. I really don't. I maybe it's better for us to fight the boss. Maybe we're less likely to take damage against a boss. Not this boss though. This is actually like, I would love to be more mad. But the way the game is fucking me right now is too funny to be mad at. We're just gonna start another one here. I'm at, like, I'm furious, but let's have a normal Isaac run. Maybe you could uh, not put your finger inside of my butt and tickle it. I'm not ticklish, so please stop trying. I am, I can feel the, the blood boiling a little bit. Cause that, you know, when I lose an Isaac run, that falls on me. Would I have lived there if I didn't take Brimstone? Possibly, but shit, dude, I think any reasonably, like, average, even above average Isaac player is gonna end up having a hard fucking time on a run like that. Really, especially that first floor, not being able to pick up anything, even going into those rooms and then finding out that they're, like, spacebar items. I could have taken a spacebar item, man. If I got Yum Heart, which is a half-decent spacebar item, I would have absolutely kept myself alive. So that's really, really fucking frustrating. And then, what do we get for bosses? Um, Gertie Jr. Really, really hard fucking boss. Um, what do we get in our shops? The ladder. Notched axe. Great pickups right there. What do we get in our item rooms? Two familiars. The only... <laughs> the only good thing we got on this entire... Our entire last run was Brimstone. And the two HP upgrades. And they more or less cancel each other out. Now on this floor we got poop. So I think this is an example of like, be careful what you wish for. I didn't wish for poop, but you know. I guess the fucking trolling god is having his way with me. I would love to be able to go to the curse room on this floor. I think this game might have a sick sense of humor. You know how I said, you know, don't rely on Brother Bobby to be a major source of damage? Kind of feel like the same way about Dead Bird. If Dead Bird is a major source of damage for you, you have a your your run is in ill fucking health. And that's where we are right now. Dead Bird is like our damage dealer. Ah, okay. Sure. Shouldn't have picked up that spirit heart, admittedly. But thank you for pageant, boy. Fuck the curse room. <clears throat> Cellar part two. Curse of the Lost. Now, we should be able to access the shop. That'll depend on our money situation. Which in turn may depend on our bomb situation, but I certainly hope not. Poop's ready. Thank you. 
We have an arcade. That's some comical shit this early on. But it might actually end up working out in our favor. So we will shoot the fire. I am salty because this run is fucking faulty right now. Faulty in the way that it, it doesn't work. And faulty in the way that it's like, you know, San Andreas. It's, it's real quakey. Doesn't really make any sense. What is it, an oatmeal? A, a, a rice cr cake? I was gonna say cracker. I didn't just forget how to say the word cake. Don't worry about it. We got a bomb. We found our shop. We also have a tinted rock. To what do I owe this glorious fucking pleasure? This is some health that could actually, you know, save us from taking red hard damage, possibly earn a deal with the devil. I knew I was gonna get hit there, basically, so which is why I was uh, at least a little bit happy. I guess the poop just disappeared. It's alright, I didn't need it anyway. Thank you for the spirit heart. Now, we will. We will. I don't want to talk to anybody ever again for the rest of my life. It's the second shop where... Oh, God. Where Notched Axe appeared. I don't see a secret room being around here, so we'll just, you know, live with it. Uh, we will look for our item room now, though. I fucking can't believe that it's Notched Axe. I can. I can. Let's, let's face it. I can believe that it's Notched Axe. Now, I want to get, like... I can't believe that he actually managed to jump into me. I was gonna admittedly try to get him to jump towards me so that I could blow him up, but I really did not th think he'd actually finish the job. Who do we have this time? Okay, it's the Widow again. It's the champion version. Summons the big spiders because the little ones weren't uh, weren't tricky enough. We can take one hit before we find ourselves in uh, no deal with the devil territory and possibly find ourselves in an even worse situation than we did on the last run. Okay, there's that hit. Dead bird, now you're my um, you're my wingman. <laughs> More like my winged man, because you, uh, you got wings. You've been drinking some Red Bull? Oh, multi-layered jokes here. The height of humor. Oh my god, I didn't take damage. Holy shit, summon a deal with the devil. May God be with you. Come on, give me... Oh, please. Deal with the angel. Could be better. What could be greater than life with a gator? Golf with a gator for one. Jesus, you don't need a life. That's kind of crazy. What's the? We'll, we'll see what the pill does. Fantastic. See what the poop has. Alrighty then. Um, deal with the angel room. The relic. Everything's starting to come up Millhouse. Just a tad. The moon card. Free money. Burnt penny gives us more bombs as a result. Okay. Okay, okay. We have our item room still to come on this floor. We've got items that could theoretically make things happen for us here. I think we're more likely to have deals with the angel in that first possible slot because we took a deal with the devil last time or didn't take a deal with the devil. I don't know. We died having a deal with the devil item last time. It's weird. I'm happy to have it though. Let's keep this up. My little headless friends, nothing there. Shoot the poop quickly, nothing there either. Dead Sea Scrolls, well it's certainly better. Um, probably should have used this on an individual room, I guess. It's certainly better than the poop, but Dead Sea Scrolls in and of itself is pretty terrible, I think. Like, worse than almost any other space bar item that can actually draw from. Really love when it gives you kamikaze by accident, that's my favorite. Not, not by accident, but without you knowing, I guess. In advance. We don't know what the pill does. All right, well, easy come, easy go on speed, I guess. Mom's bra is seriously like a once every six rooms item. I like Mom's bra, it's just very rare situationally to be able to use it. Of course we get a golden key for, as our very last consumable. I'm sorry for sounding indignant, I really am, but uh, you have to, you know, put yourself in my shoes of the way that the first run and the first floor of this run went for me. Spoilers, not very fucking well. So we're gonna go hard on this one here. Uh, it paid out, that's very nice. Now the game is being much more friendly, it seems. I think I am gonna take a, take a look for maybe a second secret room on this floor. We're only gonna take one look though. If we get more bombs, we might get a little bit more ballsy about it. Let's see, check out our curse room first. Uh, okay. One pill. Okay. Two pills. Pretty solid. Got a tears upgrade and some balls of steelness. That's not it, so we'll just leave. There are a few other possible locations. Three of them that I can see, but let's move on. All right, we're on Catacombs XL. This is the floor that did us in last time. We can make this happen, though. Haven't really improved our damage. Our DPS is up a little bit, though, as a result of um, the tears upgrade. 
it's raw damage versus, you know, actual effective damage output, of course. Um, we have Dead Sea Scrolls. There are times that this could actually come very much in handy. And there are times when this could, uh, fuck us a little bit. We have one key. We have enough bombs. We have Burnt Penny, which is wonderful. We have enough bombs to, uh, do what needs to be done. Two bombs for four bombs seems like a pretty sweet deal to me. And we'll get those. We're up to seven now. In the meantime, though, uh, we really, really... Oh, we have the Relic as well. That's the other thing that's been amazing for us, but... Or going to be amazing for us, hopefully. Uh, we really need to pick up some more... More hurting power, basically. Come... I... Can I... I can hit you. It's not easy, but... I can stretch these shots all the way across the map. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? It's like nine shots to kill you? And let me guess, you're just gonna get out at the last second anyway. This is actually comical at this point. Like, oh, there we go. I was gonna say you gotta be kidding me. But clearly, no one's joking around here. Uh, nothing there. Judgment, wonderful. Try to use this on a deal with the devil room. Or angel. Bomb and a key, terrible deal right here. Mom's bra, okay. So we'll take out a big champion spider. Barely had time to even do that. Um, but that's all right. We got a little bit of a head start on this room. Could you just give me Mom's Bra if Dead Sea Scrolls is just going to do Mom's Bra every time? Like, I'd, I'd rather just have Mom's Bra so I'd, I have some certainty in things. Now, you have lower HP than these greed heads. But those greed heads did, so should be a little safer here. More bombs, thank you. Thought that this might be a dead end. So let's try not to free those neutral flies. Although, I really think, yeah, that it's already happened as I was doing that elongated explanation there. Um, th I really think that the conga liners will probably uh, do half that for me. Or all of that for me in this case. Come on, dead bird. Yes, thank you. Bird uh, strong against flies, apparently. That's what it looks like. More bombs. We got so much money that if we can just snag a deal with the devil on this floor, or a deal with the angel, a judgment uh, play there could actually be amazing. And I'm obviously hoping for another arcade as well. Being able to snag a blood bag would really help out. IV bag would be, you know, at least some reassurance that we'd get more blood bags in the future. Kind of a comically long room considering we just have two flies here. That's okay. Two chests for one bomb. Great deal. Yeah, we got two keys and a bomb back. Uh, and, and a penny, but let's be honest, that's the least important part of this whole arrangement. Thank you! And the shop. Important. Very important. Just give me blue candle. I'm, I'm willing to get my third space bar item on my second floor of the game. No, third floor of the game, admittedly. Um, the first one was not an XL floor, in this case. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be very happy to just have blue candle. Fuck the map, fuck the compass, just give me some killing power. What do we got? We got blue candle. Okay. Somebody up there is starting to like me. We buy another key. No need for the spirit hearts yet. Save a little bit of money to hopefully be able to, you know, play judgment. If we get a deal with the Devil Room. Thank you. And now, everything is starting to come up roses here. Are we okay with going 8 cents into this boss room? I think so. Give me a pretty good chance to snag a deal with the Devil. Plus, we might get Pageant Boy. Um, or Unless we already got Pageant Boy. We could get some money somewhere, is what I'm trying to get at. Before we get through this uh, arrangement anyway. At the very least, the faster we go to the boss room, the less likely we will be to take red heart damage, just as a result of the fact that we have a nice spirit heart cushion. Pentagram, okay. Here we go. Now I can officially stop complaining. I may not, though, just because it's always, it feels really nice to complain, you know? It does feel good. It's like the only person's problems who are important are yours. It's, it's a nice feeling. Now, let's, um, that was the worst blue candle shot of all time. Now let's have the best blue, uh, next time we'll have the best blue candle shot of all, there we go, pretty solid, sis. No deal with the devil, kind of comical, considering that I thought we were basically a shoe in for it. It's okay, no deal with the angel, is what I also meant to say, of course. Probably won't look for the secret room on this floor, there's just gonna be a few too, uh, a few too many opportunities. Uh, I guess we might as well go to this room. Yeah, now that we have blue candle... I am feeling much, much better about this run. The pentagram helps out a lot too, don't get me wrong. We still have two item rooms left on this floor and plenty of keys. Maybe an arcade? Oh, 
I resigned myself to that one. But I did manage to um, use that first hit and, and turn it into, um, you know, maybe not being as much of a clusterfuck because I just kind of rolled in that other damage with it. I'm okay with using a bomb to get this uh, Tinted Rock. I know we could, in all likelihood, just uh, let a Green Nub take care of it for us. Why waste the time, though? More keys. You shouldn't have. Okay, here we go. Game's making up for lost time now. Picking up steam. Do we know what these pills do? Sounds like a threat. Let's take a look, though. Tears up. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I... We'll just... That was, let's be honest, not my shrewdest move. That's okay, though. Two tiers upgrades, uh, worth the two spirit hearts we paid. Probably would have rather just used two bombs, but spirit hearts are going to be easy to come by, too. All right. Open up the arc. Oh, that's not an arcade. It's an item room, but it does have some HP. I'm starting to think that maybe the game is uh, apologizing. And you know what? If this is your brand of apology, apology accepted. Almost some really nasty damage on my part there. That's okay, though. Another bomb down here. Probably should have looked for the second secret room by putting it in the top slot, but that's okay. Plenty of bombs back. Well, one. Apparently one is plenty now. Well, you know, how many good and plenty bars would you eat in... Would you feel good about eating in one session? Probably just one, so maybe one is plenty. And good. Um, now, if you could... Please just, like, get into a corner so I can actually hit you effectively. That would be awesome. There we go. This is more along the lines of what I was hoping for. And we get some extra bombs and another key. What's with all the keys now at, like, the last possible moment? It's like you're doing a teacher evaluation or something like that, and you're the teacher, and you're like, oh, well, it better, you know, let make sure they can watch a movie on the last day so they give me good ratings. You know. I'm guilty of that. As a student, not as a teacher. What would we watch? As like five year old Korean children I taught. Or is American Beauty or something? I doubt it. Anyway, um, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Sneak that shot in there. That was awful damage on my part, but relatively minor in the whole scheme of things. Gonna hold on to this judgment card. This could be extremely important, and you better believe that no matter what items are coming down the pipeline, with the exception of maybe fetus items, I'll be picking them up. Maggie's Faith, we will be taking. More important than Burnt Penny for the time being. Or at the time being, I would say. Uh, because Burnt Penny's already given us a, a 10 bomb head start, which is nice. I appreciate it. Burnt Penny's done some good work for us. Um, we probably should have kept it maybe until the end of the floor. I don't know. Check out our curse room quickly. Oh, pills have been great so far. Probably not a speed down. What about this one? Was really worried about telepills, but we're fine. Now, we probably won't have an arcade and an item room, so I'm assuming that we just have an arcade, or sorry, just an item room up here, and that's indeed exactly how that shit went down. And inside we find uh, another HP upgrade. It also comes with a damage upgrade and a speed downgrade. Disregard that. Now, I think with five keys I will go open this golden chest, and I would say that this floor uh, is going to go down as a thumbs up in my record book. My book of records, not like the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, one extra bomb and a key to open this golden chest. Why the F not at this point? Dead bird foot, pretty nasty. Let's move along here. There's like a PS Vita in that room or something like that. Uh, and I will accept my fat check from Sony now. So from tumultuous beginnings, we're in a much safer position now, I would say. Although, how awesome would this be if we had Brimstone as well? Now, of course, the problem with Maggie's Faith is that we're going to be a little bit more, you know anxious to gamble on blood banks but in the whole scheme of things usually Maggie's faith will pay out better now we're hoping for maybe a uh, mom's purse or something like that in our shop simplify uh, our conundrum we're on the depths part one which is very nice as opposed to being on necropolis or god forbid an XL floor mm, yep was concerned that something like that might happen there's one whole spirit heart down the drain because I'm an idiot but we did get a nickel out of the equation. Rusted key is terrible. Three bombs for one bomb, and we found the secret room. And we found the curse room, which we'll just go to. Losing a lot of spirit hearts to start this floor. That being said, nine times out of ten, we're going to check out those rooms anyway, so... I feel like it was a pretty smart decision. Get it done right away. Alright. That's the only time that maybe backing ourselves into a corner actually helped out. 
what do we have in here? We'll go through with it just because there's no reason not to. I wonder, like, maybe I should start using judgment cards if we've already gotten past the point where, like, deals with the devil are, are likely or, you know, because they could always happen if you get a joker card or something like that. But once we've gotten past the point where natural deals with the devil are likely, um, if we could use these uh, judgment cards in secret rooms and then maybe get from the secret room pool. But is the secret room pool that really that good? Or we could do them in shops and pull from the shop pool, but I guess if we if there's still shops, there's still deals with the devil, right? I have taken a very stupid amount of damage on this floor. Do as I say, not as I do. And I say, don't take so much stupid damage. Now, brains should be easy. What is this run lacking? The ability to fly is uh, maybe the big one right here. And then a competent player at the wheel would be the, the second one. Even an incompetent player could probably turn an ability to fly and this run into a pretty easy victory at this point. It's a boss room. We'll deal with that right away. Look at this, like, awful, awful damage I'm taking. I'm not proud of myself. That was a lucky dodge. Okay, more keys. Nice to have five, I'll admit. And Loki. All right, so Loki, to be honest with you, the, the fight against Loki is real fucking annoying. And it's not because of Loki, it's because of the spike. And it's because Loki doesn't take damage against the spike. But obviously we do, otherwise that would be way too easy. But as long as Loki just kind of hangs out in that corner, that was easy. This is a big moment for us. Forget that shot speed for now. Guardian Angel. And then it is regular judgment. We can't re-roll anyway. I just want to, you know, have both items up at the same time for ceremony's sake. All stats up. That's a nice item. It's no Sacred Heart, but it's good. And uh, Guardian Angel. So we're starting our orbital spell here. Uh, okay. That's actually exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so now that we know that we have that Joker card. I mean, we can't do anything with a... We can't bring a Judgment and a Joker in at the same time. That would be crazy good if we could, though. Um, so we'll just save this Joker card for... I mean, there's multiple floors where you can make it work. We could try it on the next floor, and there's no reason to assume that it wouldn't work fine on the next floor. Um, or we could use it basically anywhere but um, the womb part two, because obviously then we just get a, a free trip to Shoal, which we don't want. Maybe a decent speedrun tactic if you're just going to Shoal, though? I don't know. Now, inside of our shop. Map. It's worth buying, I would say. Probably save the rest of our money, because we're okay on keys. Must be our item room up here, just due to the way that the rooms are laid out. And we'll see if we can take these guys out quickly enough. Oh, I got way too close for comfort there, but we're fine. And Spelunker's Head. Spelunker's Head's still useful because it can show us second secret rooms. Apart from that, though, getting this end of the map on a floor is a little bit um, overkill. It's okay. I imagine it'll probably be adjacent to this room. I think Spelunker's Head also let us see that there was a mini boss in this room, which is kind of weird, but. I'm, I'm all for it. Oh, that was a beautiful little uh, moment there. If you can get the envies trapped in a corner when you use um, Blue Candle, you can really uh, take them out quick. Let's try this again. Uh, that was really good. And we got exactly the same payout as we did when we fought Envy the first time. That's funny. Now, where's our second secret room? No? No? Ah, oh, there we go. I had a feeling it would be on this side. Uh, okay, just a bunch of red hearts. At least we checked it. Down to the next floor. We don't know if there's an arcade. But you know what? Let's check out this side first. Had a feeling there might be a special room over here. Obviously, there's a secret room. And I'm feeling pretty solid about this. Probably agreed in the shop on this floor, let's be honest. That's... We deserve it at this point. It's been an easy run. All good pills. Fantastic. Probably pop this Joker card very, very shortly. Right after the secret room, maybe. Let's pop it right now. So we did get a deal with the Angel. And it's a prayer card, which is actually kind of worthless. Because it just finishes off the existing Eternal Heart that we had from Maggie's Prayer. Or Maggie's Faith, I should say. But what's good about it is if there is an Arcade, now we're not going to lose our Eternal Heart to play the Blood Bank. Which will allow us to gain access to this Boss Trap Room. So there are some, you know, semi-advanced level strats, I guess, at, at play here. And mostly the other thing is we just don't have a choice in the matter. We don't have a D6, so, you know, whatever the angel room gives us, that's what we're going to take. As long as it's, um, I mean, we're not going to take it with us forever, but 
Um, I, that's the other thing I guess I should have talked about. Why am I not taking the angel card with me, or the prayer card with me forever? Because it's just not as good as Blue Candle. Is that a good enough uh, answer for you, Papa? Now, Boss Trap Room uh, is always nice if you can at least check it out. But in order to do that, we will need a Blood Bank in all likelihood. Super easy chub fight here. Blue Candle does damage against all bodily segments if you can hit it properly. And that'll do it right there. Money. Could use it at the shop. There's our arcade. Okay. So we will go to the Boss Trap Room. And obviously, I'm of course hoping that we get paid out with the Blood Bag here as well. But most importantly, this is just going to allow me access to the, the shop as well. Oh, well, never mind. No, it's not. And we're not going to get to go to the Boss Trap Room either. But we did get an HP upgrade, so... You know, that's what I like about the Blood Bank. As long as you, you're, you know, playing it in a very reward versus risk kind of way. Not risk versus reward. You want to be sure you're playing it as unriskily as possible. But as long as you are smart about your existing HP, even the worst possible outcome still gives you something. Either you get enough money to go to the shop, or you lose enough health to go to the boss trap room, or you get an HP upgrade for free. So I'm a little sad about the fact that we weren't able to get, you know, all three out of our situation, but that's okay. And we're fighting greed in our shop anyway. Which, at this point, what do I want him to drop? I guess the quarter, in case we come across several judgments over the course of the remainder of the run. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, I thought that would finish the job. Not quite. And we got a key, at least. So that's actually important. That replaces the key that we spent to get in here. And we get a chest and a spirit heart. That's from the relic. And another key. And we got plenty of money, too, of course. Well, I guess we just make our way to our boss trap room now. We haven't found our second secret room either. The other thing is that that prayer card could end up giving us an extra HP if we find uh, an eternal heart in our second secret room. Otherwise, we would have just had that second, the eternal heart in the second secret room uh, finish the one that we brought up with Maggie's faith from the last floor. This is a very confusing anecdote. I think you understand, though. Now. I'm very surprised that I haven't taken damage on this floor. Or on this room. We've taken damage on this floor, I think. Probably. And sneaky diggy shot there. We'll come back in there for the bomb. Not really interested in paying two keys for a single golden chest at this point in the game. No second secret room? Well, it must be in one of those special rooms um, that I didn't go to. Oh my god, awful damage. If I hadn't taken damage before, I have now. Uh, but we'll we'll go check those rooms out because well there's only two of them and I think it's only likely to be in the one that's directly below or like not directly below but diagonally below the uh, item room and it should be straight downwards from there I guess yeah okay now kind of you know grazed some of them here didn't kill many on that first shot though eternal heart would be fine that's a fortune teller I'm just gonna leave. Not gonna use a bomb or any money on it. We could probably afford to use at least like seven cents, but whatever. Not an enormous deal. Okie dokie. Uh, boss fight time. Blue Candle makes the boss fight easy. Sounds like I should be a spokesman for the Blue Candle Corporation or something like that. Speedy enough to make it through there easily. But at the very least, we did snag that HP upgrade on this floor. Did we get anything else? What did our item room have? The fact that I don't remember makes me a little bit worried. Not for my, you know, the well-being of my brain and cognition, which it probably should, um, but rather for the fact that it was probably terrible or not very good. But I might be mistaken. Obviously, we take the Polaroid and we take the Spirit Heart and we tell Cat of Nine Tails to go fuck itself and we move on. Now we had a really good track record on the last run uh, with getting into boss rooms on the first guess. I'm gonna guess that um, this one. This boss room is going to be up, and uh, it's going to be that weird little coiled section up at the top. Let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. And let's see, my god, what have I done. Okay, that was not the proper way to handle that dodge, but we got through. Sometimes luck is on your side, even if you are a big dingleberry. And that was a good shot. Okay, we're just going to blue candle these guys one at a time. That sounds like a fucking police brutality move or something. Give him the old blue candle. You don't even want to know what it is, but it is hot, hot, hot. Now. Let's see what we got going on over here. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Not really speaking, because I need to use all my brain muscles to not take damage on this room, but now that that's been taken care of, you know, does everyone file their taxes? That's something important that I would recommend that you do. Not a Joker card. We'll pop it right away just to take it out of our mental energy. I am the greatest uh, boss room explorer of all time. Just the rule for finding boss rooms? Where would the boss room be most inconvenient for you? That's where you'll find it. And of course we're gonna fight Conquest, because uh, Conquest is uh, he's the easiest boss we could possibly face right now. The game's giving us uh, a glorious gift. I don't know why we still kept doing damage to Conquest. His HP went way down while he was gone. Um, it's okay though. Good blue candle shots. Just hanging out in the corner. Doot doot doodaloo. Be cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Should have shot that way faster. What I'm trying to do is ooh, put myself behind these walls so that the um, surprise purple shots can't hit me. Or they're, they're at least less likely to. And I really want to hit him with, like, the just the tail end of the blue candle so it sticks around properly. Like, that one would have been amazing if he didn't move away. Oh, I don't even know what I was thinking that time. Let's try this again. Oh, don't fade away. Okay, I th that's his new strategy for like getting back into the fight is like uh, I glitched out. Okay Let's do this attack then all right. Well, we got to deal with the angel at least we don't want that We I mean we want the ability to fly but blue candle so much more important to us and the Bible I mean obviously we're gonna get rid of this if we get more deals with the angel somehow though We've taken everything but Celtic cross scapular and sacred heart out of the rotation I think uh, and the miter mind you I would like want some of those items anyway, so I'm not gonna Feel bad about it. Uh, okay, let's let's be serious. Where's the boss room? Definitely definitely bottom not the right side I went to the right side just out of force of habit, which was stupid of me 99.99% um, .99 odds on bottom center here Friends till the end we'll take it with us. Why not right book of Belial pretty effective, but uh, blue candles better for us I'm starting to get a little wary about our existing HP It's okay don't take dumb damage. That's step one. That was very dangerous. Okay. Stay. St oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Don't look anybody in the eye. Oh. Okay. Eh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. I knew I was going to take damage in that room somehow. I just didn't quite know how I was going to fuck myself. And then I saw it through a fucking looking glass. Hermit card or friends to the end? Well, we don't know where the boss room is anyway, so fuck the hermit card. Now. We, it doesn't really matter how we handle this room as long as we just aren't stupid about it. Like, that works totally fine. Let's see if my prediction was indeed correct. I knew it! <laughs> what did I tell you? It almost seems like I'm cheating at this point, but it, why would I cheat in to, to do better at this part of the game? Like you think maybe I'd cheat to do better at not getting shitty items like poop on the very first floor? But there are some people who think that, you know, I would do something like that just to amp up the believability. Our conspiracy is that away, and they can laugh at you instead of me. Uh, so I'd rather kill him with uh, my tears, Monstro that is. And keep Blue Candle ready for um, my next wave, but it's actually going to work out just fine. Just drop some bombs in here, obviously. And, you know, Bombs, Blue Candle, and Tears is, uh, first off, a great name for, like, a dessert slash liqueur menu at a restaurant. But, uh, additionally, a great recipe for a dessert menu at a restaurant. But additionally, a great recipe for beating Mom's Heart very easily. If I were a boss, where would I be? Bottom left. Definitely bottom left on this bad boy. If it's up there um, in that little bicep curl... Hey, excellent. If it's up there in that little bicep curl, we can still get to it. Um, via the secret room, we can sneak in a little bit faster, but... Um, I would be quite, quite surprised if it was not bottom left. Because I've been right like five fucking times in a row. Map plus no compass is good training. I have missed some pretty easy blue candle shots. There we go. All right, Chubb is not going to be our last boss. We will have to fight uh, three of them. Just please don't give me, like, double red monstros. We'll probably get double monstro. We might get peep, though. Just not double red ones. Yeah. So, you know, it's the best of the possible situation. 
And just make sure that... Like, Blue Candle, there's a little bit more finesse to Blue Candle. And you might originally think the first few times that you use it, it's just like, oh, it's like a, you know, a brimstone that is just in your spacebar item slot. No, 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 my friend. You want to make sure that you're giving yourself the best possible chance to get the maximum possible, you know, duration on that blue candle shot. Mind you, I'm not very good at it. Okay. So, that was worth the HP. We obviously didn't take damage in the process of going over I knew something along these lines was going to go wrong. I can't believe I only took a little bit of damage there. And I can't believe that I haven't been hit in the meantime as well. My god, I should be uh, at least hurting more than I am. I'm, and now we pay. Now we pay with our health and our lives. Please just explode, thank you. At least now we can get to a half heart interval. This room is just its too confusing, man. And good, good, good. Oh, don't want that. We want to get to a half heart interval. Which we can do by going into the mob trap room? Yes. Shouldn't be too far away from the boss room, is my assumption. Oh, yeah, okay, let's do this motherfucker again. Eh, okay, that was bad. Oh, bomb in some shots from across the map. Seriously? They're all gonna get down to, like, exactly the same amount of fucking health. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey! Finally, the slightly easier version of this room, and we'll take some damage on it anyway, because that's just the kind of guy I am. Okay, and dead bird doing what dead birds do. Annoying the shit out of things. Doesn't really make any sense. Disregard. We had... I put a bomb there, because I was like, we might as well use a bomb to get out of here without taking damage. Then, of course, I got hit twice. Health is not going to be in good shape for this Isaac fight. Oh, good. The tick. And this isn't even our boss room. This is a terrible time for that streak to end. Bad shot. Oh. Be cool. Be Actually, fire a shot would be good. Thank you. More bombs. So it's got to be up there in that little bicep curl. I would love to take the tick, don't get me wrong, we just can't actually uh, take that and make it work for us. Is it worth two bombs to come through here? I think maybe it is, yeah. Okay, so we'll sneak through there and this will save us a couple of rooms. One bomb per room, seems like a reasonable tax to pay and very easy. Thank you for that. Probably should have left spirit hearts until the very end. You live and learn. Oh, it almost, it worked, but I was so stunned in watching Blue Candle fly that I, um, I got hit anyway. Okay, now we're in a better position, theoretically. Land some shots up here. Thank you. You too? Yeah. Oh, second secret room. Come on, just dodge into the fucking blue spikes. Uh, no, that's okay. Red heart for me. Sailor's Delight. We did get a Spirit Heart back here that I missed. Probably should have saved that for the boss fight. But every time I do that, I'm like, well, this should be the last time I take damage anyway. Red chest is spiders. Alrighty then. I would laugh so hard, or I would have laughed so hard, if the boss room had actually been just like directly above where we started, like two rooms away. And I've already lost my Spirit Heart and one more heart on top of that so far. So as you can tell, I'm uh, really on my best Isaac behavior right now. We could... St we can still win, though. I'm very displeased with myself, though. Alright. Yeah, sure, take the money. Maybe we'll get money equals power out of one of these treasure chests. I bet. Alright, how do you do this fight? Well, this is how you do this fight. You just blue candle the shit out of him. That's pretty good. And is that all we do? I, I don't know why blue candle didn't block that shot. Probably a very reasonable explanation. Not just the game's personal vendetta. That was awful damage, but I didn't think it was going to hit me. That is, uh, again, awful damage. I really don't want Dead Bird to get in there, but now I'm thinking, shit, maybe we just gotta go for broke against him. Oh my god, are you serious with this, like... Oh, oh, I'm displeased. I am, I am not pleased. I'm about to be displeased and dis fucking placed from existence. Oh, that probably should have killed me. 
as many of these shots recently should have. I can't judge my hitboxes properly because I'm larger now. Mind you, it's a double-edged sword because now I'm doing more damage as well. And the real um, frustration here, as you might expect, is that uh, beams of light from heaven are more or less impossible to predict. So we pretty much just gotta, you know, luck it up. And I did, I was a real luck up there at the end. Well, that was terrible. I tried though. I God, I hate Eve. That's not Eve's fault, that's my fault. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.